I am just starting in on my garden. Uh huh. Just moved in my place. Turned out the soil over, saw your video. I'm watering twice a week, and I'd really like to get out of that. And so, the sources that you mentioned, those, those, uh, but mulch sources are all still available, right? Wood chips. You know, people, you know, arborists are pruning trees all the time. Yeah. And they chip them. And they got to find places to dump it. Right. You know, so if they can find a place that's accessible, close, that's an asset to them. And that's me. And so I'm... Yeah, so get a hold of them. And, you know, I, I've, these people that bring it to me have been bringing it to me for 15 years, you know. Just, I mean, they're, they're awesome because they always know that they can come here any time and dump, you know. Yeah. And so it's just really great to get. Yeah. And then um, I have tons of earwigs. I'm just wondering how they do in this stuff. What I found about all insects, and everybody hear me because you, we were taught in school that insects are pests. You following me? Did you go to that school? Maybe. Yes, yeah. I've been there. <laughs> but I'm finding, I'm having a problem with the creator whose essence is love that, to create a pest. So I asked him about the pests. He says, they're not pests, they're my police force. I created insects as a police force to take out dehydrated and stressed plants so only healthy plants produce seed and maintain healthy plants. Bugs will only attack unhealthy dehydrated plants. They will never attack healthy plants. And when you're here today, I want you to observe everything you're looking at until they start getting old and on their way out have absolutely no evidence of any bug bite. Uh -huh. It's huge. And, and you're not using anything else. None. You're totally organic. Totally. But because I understand their purpose. You see, allopathic right. medicine, which is our, our mindset, is all about treating symptoms. When a bug shows up, it's an alarm clock. It's a wake-up call. Your plant's not well. Don't kill the bug. Get your plant well. And the bug leaves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, we're so backwards. Yeah. You know, we're out there treating symptoms when the root problem is right. you're, you're malnutritioned. Yeah. Eat good foods, you'll get well. You're not drug deficient. Yeah. It's, so, path it's pathetic. And, and, I, and I was brought up in that, that mantra, as you, as you mentioned. And That's so, all of us were. And so all my old gardens, it's like, I've stopped fighting moles because you knew you will never win. Oh, I win. I oh. trap them. <laughs> I, like I, them. I trap them and I totally control them. Oh. I got one right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch. He said, oh, yeah, I, no. I, my sense is this is private property and you're trespassing. Uh -huh. And I'm going to take you out. Uh -huh. And I have what I call in the back of the Ho Chi, Minh, Ho Chi Minh Trail. I was in Vietnam. I've caught over 30 moles in one runway. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't put up with it. All right. We've had trouble. The, yeah, the, 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 Vic, the Victor Trap yeah. is the only one that works. Wait, what kind? The Victor Trap. Victor. It's, the spring is so potent that you can't, you can't push the thing together with your hands. They send you, give you a little extender so you can get it together. I know what a trap you're talking about. But so, no one knows how to use them. Yeah, that's a problem. And that's a problem. They see, but I'll tell you how to use it. Everybody hear me. When you see that mound, you dig down until you find the runway. That means a hole going straight through. And here's what you do. When you find a straight runway, you put a stick so you can line it up and you take dirt and you pack into the holes both ends as hard as you can. Pack dirt back in there and you bring the dirt to the level of the top of that hole and you set your trap right in line. As they come push through, they got to push that dirt out of the way and that triggers the trap. Right. And I catch them all the time. Yeah, I was wondering because that's one thing they do is when I've got moles, I have to water a lot. They dry the soil out terribly. So that sounds... And, they, and, they, and they devastate your yard. Yeah. All these mounds. All, it's just a mess. I, I don't put up with it. Uh -huh. I totally catch them. And so I think your film we were looking at was a year or two old. You've been here for 17 or 18 years? I've been here for 41 years. 41 years. The film came out 11 years ago. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, 11 years ago the film was made. Yeah. And Paul, where did you come from in LA? Los Angeles, Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. Between Pasadena and Glendale. Uh, Culver City. Wow. All right, cool. I was born in, in, in Los Angeles when five didn't exist. We saw deer in the way to school. We trapped rabbits in the hills. It was a nice place to grow up. We could see Catalina Island from our house. My parents' house was four and, and we could see Catalina Island. And I remember when smog first started happening and we were, our eyes were watering and it was just a bummer. So it was a nice place when I was a kid, but it changed and I left because it wasn't, sa it wasn't a safe place to live. I'm so, we've been here 41 years and I, I'm so thankful to be here. We just moved up here April, uh, April 16th. Where do you, where do you live? Bremerton. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know where Illahi is? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, University Point Circle. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Beautiful house, right? Yeah. In the All right. They, they did, who, she passed away from cancer, and so did her husband. Mm -hmm. But they did so many upgrades, Pella windows, I mean, beautiful Great. place. Great. 
that's a, that's the only good thing I think about LA. It's where you can cash out and buy something nice up here. <laughs> yeah. You have the right idea. Yeah. Well, we, we we saw this in '79. Yeah. Wow. We saw this coming, uh -huh. and I'm and you know I'm thinking, man, I, I got to get a place I can grow food for my family because yeah. LA is not going to be safe. Right. Yeah. And I am so thankful. We, I mean, look at this air. I know. It's the cleanest air on the planet. I know. I have the, my, you, if you want to get water, I have a drinking fountain here. My water is 7.3 pH. It comes out of the glaciers and livings. It's totally delicious. I grow the finest food in the world. I mean, quality of life. Billionaires don't eat as well as I do. I'm serious. You know, it's just like, I'm, my, my father really takes good care of me. It's, yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. Awesome father. Did you planted sequoias when you moved in? Look at them. Yeah. You know how old those are? 40 years? Not when I moved in. They're old. Those are only 21 years old. But you know what? People always ask me how fast that grows. So I did a test to demonstrate. If you look at my house, yep. you see where the two roofs come together? There's a sequoia right behind there. Oh, yeah. That tree was planted the same day these were. Oh. In dirt, I, these I planted wood chips. That tree is one third the size. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is amazing the difference. Mm -hmm. And it's all about what you eat. Mm -hmm. You are what you eat. And when you're eating nutrient dense soil, you grow well. When you're eating compacted dead soil, yeah. you grow slowly. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's so simple. It's not complicated. And nutrients are very different. Nutrient yeah. density right. is huge. Yeah. Right. And today we're all sick because our food's no good. Right. You know, even organic farmers, all they're putting back is NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. That's not the full spectrum of minerals. There's far more. And in these wood chips, they're all there. Mm -hmm. All the minerals are present. It's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Just for an example, Bend over and push the wood chips away and pick up that beautiful black stuff down below and yeah. smell it. Yeah. Put it, run it by your nose and smell that. Yep, that's organic. Yeah. That's, that, the, it's sweet smelling. Yeah, it that's is. the odor of minerals. It is. If you go to farms that raise your food, you pick up their soil, there's no odor. Right. Because there's no minerals. Right. I mean, it's so evident. It's so v yes, obvious. Know. You know, it's, it's not complicated. Yeah. And you know, our, you talked about allopathic medicine. It's we, we really have. We don't have a healthcare system. We have a disease care system. It, it is. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. Allopathic medicine is about supporting and maintaining disease. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. They're good for emergent. They're, they're they're good for emergency. Yeah, this is, this is just they're crazy. great for emergency and diagnosis, but not, but they're not about health. Right. Right. No preventative. It's mostly just yeah. Oh, and it's it's scary what's happening. I have I have I was so sad. I have a friend in in um Detroit. Who I've never met. We, we were like best friends. I, he saw the film. We, we just have conversations over the phone. But his brother and son were not feeling well, and they went to the hospital. They had insurance, and they put them on a ventilator and killed them. Oh. They're dead. Oh. They're dead, and they put on the on the death certificate COVID-19. Yes. I'm just telling you, man. It's evil. It is corrupt yep. evil. And then you have so much stuff in reach of the deer. And I have dogs okay. that keep all the deer out. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's why everybody around I me know. has dogs. And I saw deer in the yard for the first time <laughs> about a week ago, but I'm hoping that all the dogs will keep that. Yeah, the, the dogs are effective. Yeah. They, really, they really work. Yeah. A good dog. You have to have a good dog, though, because my, my golden retriever, she's everybody's friend. They don't, they're not bothered by her, but... This 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 uh, chocolate lab, and then uh, someone gave us an awesome Pyrenees, uh, 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 and that dog's gonna it's a baby right now, but it's gonna be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to, because last year you know my, my my chocolate lab had died, and last year the deer defoliated every one of my trees, oh, wow. took every leaf off the trees. Wow. But you know what that taught me? You know you know the word says in everything give thanks, in everything give thanks. So I'm learning to do that. You know what God showed me about by that demonstration? If it ever ever gets tough, you can you can survive on apple leaves. Oh yeah. The deer were totally s supporting themselves that's on my apple leaves, that's true. and so I never knew that. So that was a, a an awareness. Like mm -hmm. I know I can live on apple leaves if and I have your to. Trees flush that back out, okay? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they they're hardy. They're healthy. Yeah. They're not um they're not in any way de you know deficient. Well, you're certainly inspiring. Well, the Creator is. I got yes. this all from Him. Yes. I came here and I didn't have water. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. A good messenger. I'm just telling. I'm just telling you what I got because. I'm, I'm totally changing direction. I was going to do raised beds and everything, and then I started realizing how much water it's going to take. Raised beds are so labor intensive because yeah. because they're above grade, they dry out instantly, yeah. Yeah. Right. and you're watering constantly. Yeah. Yeah. If you notice in nature, God has no raised beds. Right. Right. 
it's just you know here we here we're, we're we're related to the master garden of the universe, right? And we do these stupid things, <laughs> right? <laughs> when we should know better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere he's growing stuff, he's showing us how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And we do different things and make it hard for ourselves. Right. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website and we'll see you guys on the next one.